Ernesto Padilla is a Cuban-American artist, graphic designer and cigar maker. He is the son of Cuban poet, Alberto Padilla. Padilla was born to Alberto Padilla, a Cuban writer and poet, and his wife, the artist and poet Belkis Cusamali. Alberto Padilla was out of favor with the government of Fidel Castro at the time of Ernesto's birth, and the family was living under house arrest in an apartment in the Mariana neighborhood of Havana. In 1979, Padilla and his mother were allowed to leave Cuba for the United States. His father, Alberto, was not allowed to leave Cuba until 1980. They initially settled in Miami, Florida, but later moved to Princeton, New Jersey. After graduating from high school in Princeton, New Jersey, Ernesto embarked upon a career in the graphic arts, and studied at several schools. Including the Art Institute of Philadelphia, the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale and the Miami School of Design. He has participated in numerous art exhibitions throughout the USA and currently has works at the Gallery of Cuban Art at La Casa Azul in Fort Worth, Texas. After completing his schooling, Ernesto began working in advertising, working on various major accounts. He moved to Miami to take a job with Tabacalera Perdomo, where he was involved in marketing and product development. He himself had not been involved in the cigar and tobacco industry prior to his work at Perdomo, but he comes from a family that had been deeply involved in tobacco in Cuba. His great-grandparents had owned a tobacco plantation in the Pinar del Rio region of Cuba, and his father had grown up on it. Ernesto attributes his love of cigars and the tobacco business to his father, he always had a passion for cigars. He was like a secondary ambassador for cigars, I always loved it. Always loved the business because of that. Coming from a tobacco family, Ernesto knew or was acquainted with many people in the tobacco growing world. Working for Perdomo served to solidify these connections, and in time, he struck out on his own. On April 24, 2003, Ernesto and his brother Carlos incorporated as Padilla Cigar Company, and embarked on a new career as cigar makers. Within the Padilla Cigar Company Ernesto handles product development and marketing, while Carlos handles administration and management. Much of the graphic arts and the brand advertising, including band designs, is done by Coolbirth Incorporated. Padilla Cigar Company is what is referred to as a boutique brand, i.e. a small company of limited production and distribution. This allows such a company to concentrate on achieving a high-quality product. In the case of Padilla Cigars, they have chosen to concentrate on using very rare and limited Cuban seed first-generation tobaccos in almost all their blends, production numbers are therefore also naturally limited. In developing the blends used in Padilla Cigars, Ernesto worked closely with several recognized experts, including master blender Jose Don Papan Garcia and Gilberto Oliva. The results are easily seen, for in the short time that the company has been in existence, it has become recognized in the premium cigar industry as one of the leading boutique cigar companies. And its cigars have been consistently been given high ratings. In 2008, Padilla parted company with Garcia due to the latter's expanding commitments to other cigar makers. Padilla opened up his own 2,000-square-foot manufacturing facility in the Little Havana section of Miami, Florida, to which production of Padilla's Miami, Signature 1932, and 1948 cigars was shifted. Production of other Padilla-branded products continued under the auspices of other cigar makers, with the Seri 1968 made in Honduras by Tabacalera Aguilar and the Padilla Habano made in Nicaragua by A.J. Fernandez. The company currently has several brands in regular production and makes special, limited release cigars from time to time as well as occasional custom brands. In May 2012 Ernesto Padilla announced a major change in the Padilla lineup. Four of Padilla's flagship products were to be discontinued, including the Signature 1932, Miami, Dominus, and the newly introduced Artemis, with these to be replaced by new Miami-made lines called Invictitus and Miami Maduro as well as a Nicaraguan-made lines to be known as Padilla Reserve and Premier Crew. The small El Titan de Bronze factory owned by Sandra Cobras was named as the maker of Padilla's Miami-based production, while a move was made from the Tabacalera Tropical Factory to the Tabaliza facility in Esteli for manufacture of the company's new Nicaraguan line. The Tabaliza factory is the same used by Oliva Cigar Company for the manufacture of its products. Late in 2011 another new line called Padilla Legacies was introduced, made in the Tabacalera Tropical Factory for exclusive distribution by mail-order giant E.P. Thompson & Company. This new line was to be unaffected by Padilla's 2012 move from Tabacalera Tropical to Tabaliza. Ernesto has produced several special cigars. 
that took advantage of some special small crop tobaccos by creating a series of very limited editions which he called Ediciona Special. These are briefly listed below. Thanks for watching.